channel here over at Subscribe Stars. Let me show these two articles uh, together because it shows you how intolerant these people are. And the thing is, where this this leads, this purity spiral in witch trials, where if even if you're on the left, um, nothing is ever good enough for these people. So it's it's better just to be um, on the right, offensive right from the start. You know, with feminism, diversity, globalism, all that kind of stuff. Just out and out say it's cancer. It's like, but don't you want representation in games? No, I, absolutely not. How many, let me be upfront about that. Diversity and, and the girl power, it's absolute cancer. And like once you say it, there's not much they can say to it. It's like, oh, well, you're a insert straw man here or some kind of label. It's like, I don't believe in labels. I'm just a free spirit. It's cancer. And, uh, you know, the right wing, uh, people like me are able to say it. And the left wing says the opposite. But the, the thing is, they're lying because they don't actually pony up the money to buy these movies, these games. All the woke crap that's effing made for them. Yeah, yeah this is made for you guys. All these, these race swap movies. I, I Like, most of us on the right are just outright saying, oh, this is, uh, we're not, we're very, very pro-tribe uh, European. We, we don't want to, we're not going to support any race swapping. And they, they huff and puff over that for some reason. But then they don't go support the the race swap Peter Pan or or all whatever crap there. I mean, pretty much everything, right? It's like there's a that image of the red haired uh, cartoon characters, uh, comic book characters that have all been swapped out by the uh, lizards over at uh, Disney and and DC. Anyway, so if you're not on board with them in lockstep in every single thing, and the Taylor Swift article is like. She didn't disavow her ex-boyfriends who dropped uh, um, uh, epithets. It's like, so what? So the thing, uh, this just this spiral just gets worse and worse to where you're controlled by these these idiots at the Mary Sue and this kind of I don't know what you call it the the cat lady circle of um, you know women's these 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 blue-haired, obese, childless weirdos staring out their windows trying to control, you know, the billion, multi-billion dollar Taylor Swift because of her, her dealings with her ex-boyfriends. So, you know, if you're on the left, there's got to be a moderate left who goes, yeah, we're going to have to allow some diversity of thought without trying to destroy people's livelihoods. So what happened um, with both these articles is this uh, Zachary uh, Levy from the Shazam movies is is disappointing my favorite racial leishman at the mary sue here's uh the thing if people vote people are not voting for trump they're voting against kamala because kamala has been in power the past uh almost four years biden has dementia he doesn't know where he's on vacation uh he's on vacation at the beach right now while the south is is underwater and uh, he released one statement. He said, yeah, we, we're not going to give them any more help. It's like, oh, $700 for Maui. How much for uh, for Ukraine and Israel and all these other foreign countries? Oh, billions. Why do you ask? So why did Maui only get like $700 per person? That's insane. I mean, what's the point of what's the point of paying taxes? Anyway, Biden did this thing where he goes, yeah, we're not going to give the, I don't know, North Car uh, South Carolina or whatever, any more money for flooding. Go, that's, that's weird. What are the demographics over there? What's the... What are, what are the voting things? It's like, shouldn't the president, the vice president, at least be out visiting that area? It's like, no, the uh, the uh, the last president uh, rolls up there and uh, is out there showing his face and, and donating things. Oh, that's, that's weird. It's like you don't care for your constituents at all, but the, the last president did. Anyway, um, so the thing with, with Kamala is if the people who vote for Kamala, you're going to get you're going to get everything you deserve in the next four years. It's, a, it's going to be a continuation of the last four years and even worse. Um, have, so the only thing I have to say to this is like the, the one thing to counter all, all her insane, uh, as much as I love Leishman's argument, have you seen grocery prices? Oh, well, um, they're gouging. You don't think printing more money that's ever been in existence uh, under uh, Kamala had something to do with inflation or open borders and taxpayer-funded um, everything for 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 uh, uh, for the open border types. You don't think that has something to do with the the supply and demand? If you have excess uh, labor, what happens to the value of labor, and what happens to the cost of housing? Housing goes up, and the value of labor goes down. I mean, that's one on one stuff. Oh, the taxpayers will pay for it. it. There's no there's no magic soil in America. It's it's the golden goose that is that has already been uh, unfortunately 
decapitated and, and their um, struggle snuggling the corpse. Anyway, so um, Rachel Eisman is is upset at Zachary uh, Levy's uh, because he and, and she wants to destroy his career. I mean, here's the thing: like those movies he's, he's in, um, the Shazam one and two. I don't think they did very well, but there's a ton of stuff coming out of DC and um, and um, Disney that have been bombing it's not the individual actor's fault it's any more than anything else i mean y y you look at uh look at the like the last 10 movies that that came out I, the, the success rate is like 30 percent, and the success rate does not make up for the losses anyway so uh in events for the team trump's reclaim america tour so the thing the thing was trump and kamala is like people just look at the grocery store prices they look at inflation that magical inflation that so many people seem to accept, accept and they never go so the boys from jekyll island 1913 or even before that going back to the federal reserve and going back and then and gee what happened after that well um the next year there was a war and then there was um then there was a and then there was endless wars and inflation and devalue the dollar after that Federal Reserve, and, and then they, um, I don't know, they confiscated the, the uh, gold in 33, I think, and then they, under Nixon and Kissinger went off the gold standard in 71. It's like, you just accept inflation. Don't you think that's weird? Inflation and debt. It, and and nobody has a problem with that, whether you're on the left or the right. It's like, it's late-stage capitalism. It's, I, it could be late-stage Weimar. It could be, I mean, whatever you want to call it. It's like, it's... it's uh, anyway, so... He has the audacity to say, "Well, because Kennedy's not available, he's gonna he has to vote for Trump." It's like because Kamala's insane; she's mentally ill, and Biden has dementia, and now they're going, "Oh, well, Trump uh, Trump's too old to run for office." When uh, in 2016, when Biden was pushed out of the uh, running by Hillary Clinton, and you know, even if I was Biden, I'd be afraid of Hillary as well. He had dementia back then. He was not. Uh, he was not. Uh, he was not able to run for office in 2016, and when they dragged him out in 2020, he was out of his mind. But to the Democrats, that's okay to vote for someone as long as it's not Trump. And now you're going, whether you like or tr hate Trump, he, he's, yeah, he's old, fat and old for sure, but his mind is still there. And, and I can say the same for Hillary. Kamala's insane. If you vote for Kamala, you and everyone else, because we're in the same ship, the same sinking ship, we're all going to get... We're, I, like, if you vote for Kamala, your name should be on a list. That's how bad things are going to get. Anyway, so um, he, has the, he has the audacity to look at Trump and go, yeah, we can't have another... Uh, Tim Walsh and uh, Kamala are doing some, some speech, and Walsh goes, we can't have another four years of this. And you're looking around, and you're like, Kamala is in charge. She's been in charge for the past four years. She's the VP to a president that has dementia. What more four years are you talking about? She's in office right now. She goes, I'm going to, she says all these things she, she's going to do. I'm going to do all these things if I'm elected. And if you're on the left and, and like, you never think to raise your, your hand and go, wait, but you're in office right now. You're in power right now. Like, you, nobody thinks Biden has any power. It's like, this is, this is absolutely insane. Anyway, um, so he's, he's, he's voting, uh, supporting Trump. And he says, for a long time, I was, uh, I want to find a politician who represents all things. Well, I mean, that just doesn't exist. And this year I found Kennedy. I thought this, this guy's the real deal. Um, definitely. Not, there's, no, there's no politician that's the real deal. Under every politician, things continue because people will continue to sit on the couch and play video games and watch sports ball as long as there's, there's bread and circuses. As long, if they're not hungry... They won't get off the couch, and it won't matter if you vote left or right. Like, I'm on the right, and I can say this. Their wings are the same bird. And the accelerationists on the far right are saying, either don't vote or vote for Kamala. And I look at that and go, you know, accelerationism, it really doesn't matter, vote for Trump or vote for Kamala. It's, it's kind of worth voting for Trump just to see the uh, the reaction or to see them, um, you know, as Stalin said, it doesn't matter. It only matters who counts the votes. To see them take, to see, vote for, if the whole country votes for uh, Trump and Kamala still wins, it's like, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, we don't live in a perfect world. We live in a broken one. And we want to take this, uh, we want to stop. I mean, all I have to say is go look at grocery sh prices. You know this. It's not the gas prices that go, government doesn't control the gas. It's like, yeah, they lower it before every election. Of, of course they do. The government controls inflation by printing by m money, $34 trillion in debt. Homeless tent cities 
and your taxpayer money goes to Ukraine and Israel and every other foreign country to teach them like trans furry other kin like how to how to how to like tuck little boys or something to turn them into girls in Nigeria it's like that, that money's not really going to these countries, is it? I mean, some of it is, but some of it's kind of like, how is Nancy Pelosi worth two hundred million dollars? It's absolutely. And there, to be fair, like there's equal politicians on the right who are worth a hundred to two hundred million dollars. Like, yeah, maybe that, maybe that something should be done about that. Are you going to vote your way out of this? There's not going to be any conventional political solution, and that's not, you know, I mean, it's a little glow, but it's it's not like an edgy post i mean tell me how there's a tell me how how you vote your way out of this tell me how there's a conventional political solution to any of this anyway so uh he stands with kennedy tulsi and everyone who's standing with trump he thinks trump can fix the country that he broke as i said kamal and biden have been in power for the past four years three and a half years trump objectively you can look at the numbers for things and and things were better under trump for all his his faults on the first and second and fourth and all these other things like Trump is not he's not a conservative he's not a constitutionalist he's not a right wing guy he's just a whatever whatever way the wind is blowing pretty much and but when you look at Kamala it's so much worse anyway um, they don't seem to realize that Trump was a president already and it was bad well there was that little gift from uh, from China would might have had something to do with it would you like to discuss that like no no i didn't know things were things were objectively a lot better things fell apart as soon as biden got in office because there's no confidence under biden and whether domestically or globally um look at what has happened uh look at what's happened around the world trump went to north korea and visited with uh kim moon that's that's freaking amazing um no, Trump did not mess up the country any more than... He messed it up less than Biden and Kamala messed it up. Uh, out of the two options we have in Canada, it's the one that will fix country is, is Trump. Yeah, that, that's fair. Even, like, for, if, you, if you're if you coming from a normie perspective where, where, where you think the country can be fixed through uh, constitutional means, then, yeah, you have to go with Trump, and the only people who are against them are just so... They're so insane by globalist media Trump derangement syndrome in 2016 that they, I mean, but even then, if you look at Kamala and you're a leftist, you, and you hear her speak, how, how do you reach the conclusion that I would, if I was a leftist, I'd still just hold my nose and go like, okay, I'm going to vote for Trump this year. This, this lady's insane and the country is falling apart under her watch. She's in office right friggin' now uh anyway so they're um they're mad at this guy who's who's throwing away his his acting career maybe maybe not but like who cares like the the the, the situation is is much more serious than uh an acting career and she says we knew that levy was gross because she's he's referring to something to do with the woo flu treatment that that sim- symptom mitigator thing that uh yeah i didn't take it of course uh, hashtag pure blood and uh, you probably didn't take it either unless you absolutely had to so you know he had some questions about something that didn't have long-term studies available as would any reasonable reasonable person would would have so are there long-term studies no you should just trust the government media that's insane and what happened to the left well the left got subverted and corrupted anyway so um yeah he's gonna run his career and fully into the ground it's like well hollywood's not doing that well anyway but there are some things that are more important uh, than Hollywood. So what he had to say in 2020 was he's not a supporter of Trump. He finds him to be a little vulgar. Fair enough. Uh, and while I'm not a conservative, I don't many who back 45, not because they liked him, because he was the only candidate they felt cared about their needs. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's pathetic that the best candidates we have in 2016 were Trump and Hillary. That's, that's a broken system. And the best candidates we have are now are, um, are if Kamala versus Trump, it's like that's such an easy call. But um, Kamala is probably going to win it because because uh, they wanted her to win it. And like, you know, 2020, they go, oh, the, it w- there wasn't a fair outcome. It's like, OK, so in 2024, 20, uh, you're going to do things differently, like audit the work, volunteer to work for voting booths, you know, voting things and. And all that kind of stuff. Like you, you have four years to get the Republicans to do something. It's like, oh no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do anything. 
okay, well, then she's going to win in 2024. It doesn't matter. The votes don't matter. It just matters who's counting the votes. Anyway, um, he wants to vote for the istophobic uh, Scottish German guy and his woman hating pick of a vice president. Let's keep uh, his movies bombing. Well, if the movies were good, they would sell. Movies aren't bad because he's in them as well as the other stuff coming out of Hollywood. The movies are bad because they're insufferably woke and people are not going to go to a theater and pay $16 to be lectured to by people who live in gated communities with maids who don't don't even know what inflation is because they just don't care. Or they they love diversity, but you look at their, their gated community and it's... So you, you live in like a $20 million house in this gated community and the demographics all look exactly like you, but you're, you're telling us we need to have diversity. But when it comes to Martha's Vineyard, they're deported to poor parts or the middle class parts of America in 24 hours. And that image of the woman waving goodbye to these, uh, these people is just, just absolutely chef's kiss. Anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all next episode.